Okay, so in this final video, what we're going to do is show you one last thing, and it's something called DBCC check ident. See here how I selected from this table, and um, you know the keys are you know what you would expect: one, two, three, four, five. Well, what I'm about to show you is a way that you can sort of override that and set things back to zero, so to speak. Um, and before I go any further, let me just say that you would never do this in a live database unless you know exactly what you're doing and even still it's something that you have to really 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 weigh the consequences generally you would only do something like this if um if you have like a database that you're testing stuff in it's not live you want to blow stuff away start back at zero or if you're developing like a startup script to put like sample data into a system that kind of thing but you would not want to do this in real life because if you have a lot of tables with a lot of connected uh, key fields and foreign keys, then this can wreak havoc in your system like you wouldn't believe, especially if there's triggers on your different tables. But that being said, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say select star from units, and then I'm gonna say delete from units. All these records are gonna go away, but then basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do five inserts to this table, and I'm gonna be inserting inches, feet, centimeters, millimeters, and yards, just like this. And so basically the table uh, is going to get pretty much truncated. I'm, I'm, do, I'm deleting all the records and then I'm rebuilding them and then I'm selecting from the table again. So we're going to see two record sets with one difference. So let's just run this. Now notice what happened was even though I deleted all the records, do you notice that the key, keys one through five were used already. So we can't really use those anymore. So it started at six and then it went from 6 to 10 and I can keep doing this all day now it went from 6 to 10 said so forget about those now it's going from 11 to 15 so basically every time I delete from a table and then add stuff to it the key value keeps getting higher and higher and higher and that's fine that's the way it's supposed to work that's really the safest way to have things work but again let's just say that you need to know how can I you know you're developing something, you were goofing around, you didn't mean it, you changed your mind, but you want to just set it back to zero just for the sake of argument. We'll assume it's a good idea. How can you do that? Well, there's this magical thing in SQL Server. It's, it's not really magical. It's just partly magical. It's called DBCC check ident. And what this is going to do, it's going to, you pass into this a table, in this case units, and then you say reseed, and then you say zero. Now what's going to happen is it's going to put the key back to zero. Now this will not be good if there's records in here, or there could be records, but you have to understand that it, it's going to, um, it's going to, uh, it's not going to work if, if you're telling it to start at something where there's already a value. Generally, you will see something like this after you're deleting everything from the table. You're cleaning out the table, and then the last step is just to reset the seating back to zero. Now by me putting this at zero, that means the seed is at zero, so the first record that I write is actually going to have a key of one. Yeah, you, know, you think, why wouldn't I put one here, but then it would start at two. It's just kind of the way it was set up in SQL Server. So notice this. Right now, it's 21 to 25, but watch what happens. I do all this stuff. Everything's the same as last time, except that here it is, 21 to 25. I deleted everything, but look, now the keys go back from one to five because I did the check ident and I reseeded it back to zero. So now I could just do this all day long. It's gonna say one to five, one to five, one to five. Again, just lastly, you would never do this on a live system. It just, you do this, it's, it's corruption city, okay? This is just a tool that you can use if you're kind of developing something and it's just something that you're playing around with and you wanna clean things out, but be very, very careful anytime you use DBCC check ident. Be careful.